Hey everyone, Ari Labs here with a blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Omega Speedmaster Professional uh, Moonwatch Alaska Project Limited Edition. This was the 2008 Limited Edition um, Speedmaster watch for Omega. They have a new Limited Edition Speedmaster every year. I think there's at least one new one every year and I always joke around um, with them uh, that they're, <laughs> that they're going to run out of ideas at some point because they've been doing these for so long. Um, this one came with a few interesting things. Um, and this is a red aluminum case. And you're thinking to yourself, what is, this, what is this all about? Well, you have to understand the history of what the Alaska Project was. And the reason it was called the Alaska Project is that in the late 60s, uh, NASA wanted to go back to the moon. They thought, you know, like, we went there, let's go back. Um, well, I mean, they went they went to the moon in the late 60s, but they, they were already talking about going back. And so in 1970, there was apparently a project with Omega to create a watch that could go to the dark side of the moon and withstand the cold there. So they created this um, big case for a watch um, that was like a jacket. It was literally meant to insulate it from the cold. Um, and so when Omega came out with a new limited edition, they recreated this jacket in aluminum. Um, I'm not sure the original material is made. It was made from um, that you can that you can wear. Um, and it comes with two white straps, one which is a little bit longer, so that you so it doesn't have to have this gap. Um, and of course, your your standard um, Speedmaster Professional uh, bracelet, which is great, great to have. But you know you got to wear it on that white strap before it gets dirty, right? Or or after it's dirty, I don't know. Um, but you can see here it says um, it says uh, what is it? it says outer space extreme temperature instrument. Um, and you can't wind the watch from this thing, but you have the chronograph pushers um, that you can operate. I love, how, I love how loud that is. That's great. I just I you know I this is this was um, for me my first Speedmaster Professional. And you have to okay, there's a lot of Speedmasters out there. All right, so let me I'll explain sort of what the Speedmaster Professional is, but let's sort of just uh, let's let's you know, let's unrobe here and take this this case off. It's actually quite easy um, to take off. You just sort of unscrew the back there. Um, and let's take the watch right out. You can see it just sort of comes right out of there. And there you have it. Now this is this is the watch. I like the Alaska project because I was um, where I am very much into well done, high contrast, white dialed sport watches. So th this one was the right one for me. So in 1970, um, Omega created this watch with uh, NASA, and I believe they tested it in Alaska, up near the probably near the North Pole, um, or somewhere as far near the North Pole as possible in Alaska to test it for these cold temperatures. Um, uh, NASA never went back to the dark side of the moon, as you know, so the project was shelved, and I don't think the watch itself was ever um, actually produced, and I don't think it was ever produced um, for any type of commercial consumption as well. So this was interesting when they came out with this one because it was this way of having a really cool white dialed um, Speedmaster, but for this cool purpose. Now, the, the, the Speedmaster Professional basically means it has a Speedmaster Professional case. That's this case in steel, which is um, 42 millimeters wide. This is the, this is the same uh, case style that the, the moon watch, the one that went to the moon used. And inside of the Professional is the uh, caliber 1861. That's a manually wound um, three hertz chronograph movement. And so that's what this has. Um, and if you know, if I am gonna put up with a manually wound watch, I have to say it's, it's gonna be probably a Speedmaster and very little else. This strap is really cool because I just, I like the text on here. <laughs> it's just kind of neat and it just sort of goes with the watch really well. This is just one of the like cooler, this is just like one of the coolest um, Speedmasters around. The strap makes it cool, the dial makes it cool. Um, I, the black beaker chronograph hands make it cool. This is just all around, this is weird and crazy um, and just encapsulates a lot of things. This has the um, the acrylic uh, crystal as well, um, as you can see there. And what I like about the, the acrylic crystals is they give you sort of a slightly different look into the dial. They don't look quite like um, sapphire because they're not. They don't pick up fingerprints as easily. Um, and if you scratch them, they are obviously much more um, 
able to pick up scratches compared to sapphire crystal but you can like replace them and like with labor it's like i don't know 30 dollars, maybe 40 dollars, and they're easy to get and if you actually look right in the center you i don't think you can see in this video maybe i'll try to take a picture there's actually a small um omega sign to show that like it's an official omega crystal which was which was sort of neat i saw that kind of accidentally i'm not that much of a speedmaster professional guy so i wouldn't have known something like that but um it's a cool thing. Um, the straps sort of come up, come out easily, and Omega actually offers with it a bunch of tools. I think, I mean, look, pretty much everyone needs to have some type of Speedmaster professional watch in their collection. It, it, whether it's your first watch or it's somewhere down the line, it was not my first mechanical watch, um, not by far, but it was. A, it's a good thing to sort of have. The Speedmaster is... You, you really there's nowhere you can go without a speedmaster you know and there's so many different versions of it it's just sort of a great institution of of modern watch love um the speedmaster and it's interesting because you know it it, it was not uh, uh an aviation watch it was not a astronaut watch it was a racing watch that was called the speedmaster um and it sort of turned into this sort of nasa aviation watch um because of, of the apollo moon missions but that's never what it was all about but it was extremely legible um and just overall a really really great design a timeless design and i just thought this sort of alaska project one was just an interesting way of enjoying the authentic you know moon watch experience but not necessarily having the one that that everyone else has um the alaska project was a limited edition of 1970 pieces uh retail price was i think 54 or 5600 dollars um, I'm sure there's a, still a few of them out there here and there, but this is a really cool piece. Definitely something I think is going to be a collector's item. Um, and you can see uh, more on a blog to watch soon. Thanks.